What is good, y'all? It is your boy Fonte K back with another video. So today we gonna be getting into this DDG vs Joe Budden shit. Okay. So first, let's get into this. Holly and DDG breaks up. Okay. Um, I don't know what the reason is. That's none of our business. If they choose to break up, they're two grown ass people, grown ass woman, grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? By the way, DDG, I fucking love you, bro. You're the GOAT. You're one of the reasons why I picked up a fucking camera. They're too grown. They're grown as hell, bro. If they choose to break up or split up or take a break, that is them, bro. The internet is going crazy on DDG because cause they feel like he she, he probably did her wrong or some shit like that. Like, bro, what, what the fuck? Niggas is hating on DDG for no reason, bro. Stop fucking hating, nigga. Listen, though. He says, he lets it be known on his Instagram. This is what he says, okay? He posts on his Instagram. This was about, it's 10-8 right now, October 8th. It was like about three, two, three days ago. Dear friends and supporters, after much reflection and heartfelt conversations, Holly and I have decided to go our separate ways. The, this, this decision was not easy, but we believe it's best. It's the best path forward for the both of us, okay? I cherish the time we've spent together and the love we've shared. Despite the changes in our relationship, our love for each other remains deep and true. We are still best friends and adore each other. As we focus on individual journeys and our roles as co-parents, we cherish the bond we've built and the beautiful moments we've shared. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your understanding and support. Thank you for your encouragement, DDG. Okay, DDG. We understand. WDDG in the chat. Stand up guy. Let the people know. He ain't go crazy, you know what I'm saying? No, no crazy shit. He just said what had to be said. They split up. Showed his love. That's it. Okay. Now, guess who who decides to fucking say something? This nigga. This nigga right here. Joe fucking buddy. Now, we know he got on. Who, 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 who he dissed? He dissed Kai. Who else that nigga dissed? He dissed somebody else. And they went, who, he dissed Drake. He, Joe Budden just be out here talking fucking shit. So let's hear what he has to say. All right, guys, we're going to hear what Joe Budden has to say on this podcast. Which panel is a question I've been asking myself for quite some time. Who the fuck is DDG? <laughs> <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything? Oh. I'm very happy that they have broken up so I don't get to keep seeing this nigga's name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him for nothing as a standalone. And for me, it's important to know people based off their own name and merit and what they have done. I don't even mm -hmm. know enough about her. Like, I'm not her demo. Right. I'm not her demo either. But every time I see his name, it's attached to hers, and it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. What? So that makes me look at him a different way, and hopefully I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken well she's extreme you know the ddg i know that was jake the snake's finishing move it's the ddt <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever <laughs> i don't give a fuck what y'all talking about <laughs> no the ddg i know that's when jake the snake got real man that's when he did you like that. <laughs> 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 I don't know about this new DDG that y'all talking oh, about. Shit. That's not really my bag. I just think their homeboy has presented himself to be a clout, a clout chaser for the term of the relationship. Last time being mentioned on this broadcast <laughs> for the rest of eternity. You got to weigh the pros and cons of leaving your famous girlfriend to get over. So that's what the fuck Joe Biden said. Okay, Joe Biden. I was about to say Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Now, this is what DDG said after, okay? This was about a day after, so this was about two days ago, probably like September, October, excuse me, October 6th or October 7th, around that time. DDG said, nigga, got 30 years of max of life left and speaking on a relationship with people the same age as your son you don't take care of. Damn. I hope you forget to take your magnesium pills today, you old bitch. Wow. Excuse my language. I don't be tripping about the girls saying shit because I'm used to it. It's all love. But you niggas with platforms gonna get a response for sure. Pump it up with gold after 20 years, you old bitch. I'm on you. Hey, hey, hey highlight, you old bitch. He went in. Okay. Now, rightfully fucking so. Joe Budden had no fucking reason to go off on DDG at all. What the fuck? He didn't do shit to him. Just like he, he ain't do, he ain't do, Kai ain't do shit to him. 
You dig what I'm saying? What the fuck? The, J- Joe Budden, he's the fucking clout chaser, my nigga. How is DDG clout chasing him? What the, what the fuck? Come on, bro. Joe Budden just be out here trying to get attention. He's the one clout chasing. Why are you mentioning other people, other niggas, and talking down on them? Nigga, he's like 30 years younger than you, bro. What the fuck? Like, there's no way. Like, what? Dumb as shit. Just just talking. Nigga just talking, bro. No cap. 